Let's get ready to rumble! Yeah, I always wanted to do that. So, today is exactly what everybody has been asking for. It is going to be Mac versus the PC. Which one's going to win? Was my custom built PC worth everything? Well, you guys are just going to have to watch this video and find out. I'm Amy Astro and welcome to my channel. Well first, before we start looking at the performance of the computers, let's talk about the specs of the computers. Now this Mac is a vintage 2015 laptop. It was a MacBook Pro and when I purchased it, it had absolutely everything, everything you could possibly get in a laptop. But this laptop's primary purpose was for photography and travel photography and editing while I was on the road. So I really had to have a laptop and anything else really was not an option for me. Now the MacBook, it had an Intel i7 2.8 gigahertz quad core processor. It was really a good processor for that particular time. I had 16 gigabytes worth of RAM in there and I had a one terabyte internal SSD card and it had an Intel Iris Pro 1536 megabyte graphic card. So when I was processing um, landscape photography, it was really, really good and it's still really good for that, but it has been slowing down a bit with these new updates lately. So let's take a look at the PC. Now this PC is something that I have been wanting for a little while now, and I wanted it to be a desktop, something that stayed at home. It really needed to be a PC because that's what was more friendly with our astronomy software. Uh, you know, unfortunately, some folks are starting to live up, you know, to do the Mac stuff, but really just not enough of them so I decided to go back to a PC and I spent quite some time talking to my son about what I needed it to do and he came up with an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3.5 gigahertz it's got 16 cores and a 32 thread processor we stuffed it full of 32 gigabytes worth of RAM and it is expandable up to 128 gigs. I have a one terabyte internal SSD card that holds all of my software and I've also got 10 terabytes worth of internal storage already set up along with I've got eight more bays for extra hard drives so I can really stuff this thing full and we've got the Radeon RX 580 graphics card now I've got to say I am pretty impressed with how this thing is running and um, yeah I can't complain at all so far so let's take a look at the process and see how it stacks up all right, now let's do the comparison. I am running on both the Mac and the PC. I'm going to process 37 images through the integration process. And along with that, we've got the drizzle files and we've got the local normalized files. And we're gonna run through just the basic setup that we would typically do. All right, so let's go. We have the Mac over on the left and the PC on the right and the question is is which one is going to win now I do have this sped up by 800 times because I didn't want to sit here all day but I also on the PC wanted to see which item was being used most um, wait a second the PC's done oh Mac what are you doing Mac uh, he must have gone out for sandwiches or something. But what I noticed when the PC was running is I was actually using 100% of the processor and quite a bit of RAM. So, wow, Mr. Mac is still running. 
Come on, boy, you can do it. Pick up the pace. Well, now, the back has 16 gigabytes worth of RAM. The PC has 32 gigabytes worth of RAM. And I am already thinking I need to double my RAM and jump up to at least 64 gigabytes of RAM. Now, I would go all out and do the 128, but the way that my son purchased it kind of means I don't want to waste what I've already got in the computer. So I'm just going to buy another grouping of 32 and that will use up all my slots and it'll give me 64 gigabytes of RAM and I hope that that really should be plenty. Oh wait, wait, Max, Max coming up. Oh, oh, here it is. And my goodness, look at the time difference. Well, it looks like our Mac took 12 minutes and 46 seconds to process those 37 images. And our PC just kind of breezed right through it at 3 minutes and 15 seconds. So what do you think? I think that was quite an improvement. And the clear winner here is the PC. Of course, we kind of knew the winner would be the PC given that it's a brand new 2020 and it was designed for astrophotography. So, you know, the, the Mac was good. The Mac served its purpose, and it will still be my travel computer. Um, yes, the kids are already wanting my Mac. I don't think so. The Mac is still mine. I'm keeping it. But Mr. PC has a permanent residency underneath my desk, and that is what I'm going to be using from now on to process all my astro images and make videos just like this one that you all are enjoying at this moment. Or at least I hope you're enjoying this. Are you guys enjoying this? Well, anyways, my name is Amy with Amy Astro. And if you like these type of videos, please consider subscribing below. Hit that like button, hit the alert bell so you know when I upload new Astro related material. And don't forget to share this with all your Astro friends. Our community is growing and growing strong and growing fast. And that's all thanks to everyone out there. And I appreciate every one of you. So until next week, you all, I am wishing you all some wonderful health, some clear skies, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.